The scene, England's East Midlands Airport, 3.30 a.m. on October 29th, and the clock was ticking. For several hours, local police, tipped to a terror plot, had been inspecting cargo from UPS Flight 232 bound for the U.S., but came up empty. Then, a little before 2 p.m., after another tip, investigators searched the packages again, finally discovering a powerful bomb hidden in this computer printer cartridge. Today, the French interior minister said the bomb was defused just 17 minutes before it was due to go off, something the White House today said it could not confirm. Al-Qaeda gave us another warning. They are obsessed with attacking us through the aviation sector. Had things gone according to plan, the UPS package could have either been on the ground in Philadelphia or on a plane to Chicago when the cartridge packed with a pound of the explosive PETN was set to explode. A law enforcement source tells CBS News one idea being examined, the ignition source of the bomb may well have been a cell phone battery coupled with the charge from the flash of its built-in camera. The cost would have been incalculable. We would be talking about a damage of tens or hundreds of billions of dollars uh, to the U.S. and global economy. CBS News has learned the intelligence community believes a half dozen individuals or more representing core al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula may be responsible for initiating and orchestrating the attacks. Despite the failed bombing attempts, an intelligence source told us al-Qaeda sees the attacks as a success because of the chaos and fear they've created, Katie. All right. Armin Katayan, Armin, as always, thank you.